how one person traveling to the United States of America through visiting visa can change from visiting visa to another type of visa. And in this case, I'm going to talk about being a student. But there will be talking two types of students in this particular video. It is one of the most frequently asked questions that if I come to the United States through visiting, can I find a way to change it from one visa type to another visa type? The answer is yes. There are legal procedures one person can be able to do that. And I'm going to explain to you how you are going to do that. If you are coming to visit B1, B2 visa, those kind of visas, uh, when you come here, it depends on the duration given to stay in the United States, the visa duration. While you are here, you can apply to become a student. And being a student, there are two types of students. Students who are seeking degree and the students who are going to do what is called nanny degree program. These two categories also determine two different types of visas or categories of students. One is what we call F1 visa, which is the most common people talk every time. Because this is for people who are seeking degree. You come here, you want to do bachelor's degree, or you go to community college, then bachelor's degree, then you are going to do master's, you are going to do doctorate. That is F1 student. F1 student is an international student visa which allows you to go to a university or college for a degree-seeking program. But what if you don't want to get a degree? You are going to the vocational school. You are going to get what is called nanny degree program. Remember, in the United States, we don't have something called diploma as a level of education like in other countries. So those like what you call diploma uh, or certificate or something like that way, here we call nanny degree program. So if you want to pursue what we call nanny degree program, you are going to apply for M visa, not F1 visa, M1 visa. So M1 visa is a visa for a student or a person who wants to come here to pursue non-degree program or rather going to study what is called the vocational schools. So that's something you need to know. So, you can be going to the flight school. You can be going to the cooking school, what we call culinary school. You can come here to go and, let's say, I want to study uh, cosmetology, the things related to makeup, all those kind of things. So, there are certain programs you are allowed to go and take those ones. If you want to take the English-speaking one, even if it's non-degree program, is not uh, part of the M1, is going to be part of the F1. That is one of the category which is different. But again, this is very, very important. Not all institutions are allowed to give you M1 visa. Because you can apply for non-degree program for this certificate cosmetology, but just going to any street and just get admitted doesn't give you the documentations which you can be allowed to enroll to those particular schools. Remember, even the schools are like these other schools. There are some schools that are not allowed to, in, to have international students. So in order to avoid that, there is a list of vocational and non-degree institutions, which you call M1 students, allowed to go. So there is some, something called the Student Exchange Visitor Program. So there is in that go, in that particular category I'm going to put the website which is the website of the Department of Homeland Security has the list of all institutions which are allowed to enroll people to get uh, 
these programs and the universities or uh, institutions in general. Some might be community colleges. They can allow to take uh, M1 and F1, non-degree and degree-seeking uh, students. And some can be independent institutions, not directed to be the college in particular. So I'm going to share the link in the description of this video where you'll be able to see the institutions which are allowed. If you go to apply to an institution which is not allowed, then you are not going to, uh, to be allowed to be given the visa. Something very important to note on that particular case. There are no scholarships in most cases when we talk about the non-degree programs. You are coming on your own, you want to learn about the cooking, culinary specialist school, chef school. You want to go and study about the photography, particularly to take it to the next level. Videography, film, you want to become a director, you want to to, to, to the flat school. Most of those ones are not having scholarships. What does that mean? It means if you want to go to study for a degree program, you have to prove that you are able to pay for tuition fees and be able to cut your own living expenses. I know the last question I'm going to answer related to that. Are people who are in M1, are they allowed also to work like F1 student? Remember, if you are a degree-seeking student, F1, you are allowed to work 20 hours per week. Yes, M1 also are allowed to work 20 hours per week. Also, they are allowed to work on campus. What does that mean? If it's school year, you work on campus. When it is out of school, the holiday, you can work off campus. You are allowed to do that. But again, when you are looking for institutions, better to look for a bigger institution. Because if you look like a smaller institution, maybe they might not have work opportunities on campus for international students, or, or rather M1 students. So better to look for like the institution like community colleges. So the website I'm going to share with you, it has the name of states, name of the programs, so you can select a state and you can choose all the programs you want in that particular state you want to apply. So that is, even if where you are outside the United States, or you are inside the United States, that is one of the ways you can be able to change is to apply, to do every single procedures, and you'll be given I-20, the same I-20 like someone is international student, M1 student will be given the same I-20, and you can be able to convert from one visa to become a student, either non-degree seeking or degree seeking student. So that is something uh, very, very important. I want to make sure that you understand about it. M1 visa. And there are so many people who are not having, uh, maybe uh, they don't want to do master's degree, but they want just that edge to go and get something a little bit different. Uh, just a certain type of certification. But it's not a degree per se, but I want to take a non-degree program. So you can come here and say, oh, I want to go to this particular school just to take the non-degree program, maybe in uh, television, you can be able to do that. So you have to look on the list of institutions and you can be able to apply as long as you are able to pay. So the duration of these courses can be uh, maybe three months, six months, a year, depending on the program itself. But it is not like two, three years a program. No, usually they are shorter programs. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this video to your friends and family.